Hey guys, this is Ken, hanging out at the studio. <laughs> it does kind of look like a studio, like if you if you don't see any any of the other like the the DVDs and crap, they're off the right. Anyway, um, this is uh, this is what we're talking about today. This is an Ampeg uh, BA115. Um, it's a bass amplifier. Uh, it amplifies electric bass, as advertised. I got it at a store with money and um, I'm I'm liking it it's pretty cool uh, uh, at uh, the suggestion of, of another of my colleagues I uh, decided to do a review and take through some of the, the features and whatnot um, basically uh, if we cut right at the chase here we've got two inputs um, you got a 0 dB and a minus 15 dB um, the minus 15 sounds a little bit better. I, I use that one, and um, I'm going to continue to use that one. Uh, you got a volume control, uh, you got a style switch, and you got a three band EQ. You got an RCA input for outside uh, sound sources, CD players, drum machines, you know, whatever else you'd want to run through it and play along with. And uh, then you've also got a headphone jack for your headphones, and you've got XLR output uh, if you want to plug into a PA system, mixing board, what have you. Um, power switch so you can turn it on and off. It's a pretty cool feature. All the all the nice gear has that these days. Um, and uh, basically, uh, let me switch it on here. Put this thing down. And let's... give you a nice view there. Okay. So basically what we're looking at here, and as you can hear there's a, there's a bit of a uh, there's a bit of a hiss going on and that's coming out of the coming out of the tweeter actually. Um, but that uh, that same tweeter that provides the hiss provides a lot of the uh, interesting tonal quality of this amp. Um, a lot of the it's got a nice it's got a nice high to it. The highs really ring out, especially if I put a little bit more a little bit more of my bridge pickup in there or my neck pickup rather. It's pretty stuff. Um, Right now, uh, this is going to be this is style one, and I'm going to flatten out the EQ, get a feel for how it sounds in its natural habitat here. Put you down so I can freak out a little bit.
like in the quality of the sound, um, like in the uh, the quality of the amp is uh, pretty nice. It's got this nice sort of mesh uh, face on it. Uh, this is metal. This this thing and uh, sides are really strong. Um, you could hit somebody with it. I'm sure it would survive. You know, people could throw beer bottles at it, or if you had like um, some some dogs or some cats climbing on the front of it, I'm sure it would be pretty okay. That's uh, it's rather rather cat friendly, I would say, um, which is definitely good if you um, if you gig at a pet shop. You might have to do that someday. So yeah, um, basically. Uh, Good bass amp, um, good for what I do. Uh, number one for pet shop gigs and um, people who like to go and use money to buy things to amplify the sound of their electric bass. So, in short, 